morning everybody welcome to vlogmas day seven well i can't believe that we're nearing the end of the first week of december it's quite crazy to think that you know we're going to be into the second week of december oh, it's quite crazy anyway this morning i have just been doing a few household jobs i'm on the thursday and friday i start work a little later on in the day which is always good um because that means I can get stuff done, like stuff that I need to, need to do in town. Anyway, I'm meant to have a friend come around tonight after work. Um, but she's just informed me that she may not... Oh no, that's what I forgot to get. Dishwashing powder. Every time I do this shot, like two weeks in a row, I've forgotten to get dishwashing powder. It's literally got one more wash left, I think. Um... Oh well, just means I'd have to go back to good old hand washing, which we do a lot of because this dishwasher is not very good. Anyway, um, so I don't know if she's going to be coming around now or, or what, but um, I'm going to be making some treats tonight. And remember how a couple of days ago I said that I would do that vegan cheesecake? Uh, cheesecake, um, pavlova. I still have not done it because last night, I, by the time I got home, fed myself and then... It is in the video takes a good hour I reckon, so um, I haven't done it, but look I've got everything all ready for it. The bowl that I'm going to be mixing in, corn flour, a bit of vanilla essence and sugar. Um, so I'm going to try and do it tonight, but for the most part I'm actually going to be trying to make gifts for Saturday. Our Betty Monroe work day should be really good. We're going to a restaurant called Palpita here in New Plymouth and it's just so good. Like I've had a few hidden misses there, but I've had some really good times. So um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Oh my gosh, there's my neighbour. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Okay, it didn't. <laughs> Seriously, imagine if I lived somewhere where you could literally see in every window into my whare. Like, people would be seeing me vlog myself and talk to a camera so much. Anyway, I've been rambling on for too long, so let's just carry on with that. Oh man, I hate Wednesdays because there's never any food in the house. Like, literally, there's no food for lunch. What am I meant to have for lunch? Oh, oh I can have some salad -y stuff. It's from last night's burgers, which, by, by the way, I got up, like... While I was editing and I ate the rest of it. So it's just got the salad stuff left. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to take with me to work. Okay, I'm going to have to just really, really unhealthily take some bread and have a cheese toasty or something like that. Look at all those boxes of roses. I'm sending those today. So I'm at work. Um, there's nobody here. My boss has just gone. It's so funny. He's like, oh, now I'm just going to go down to Pakistan. I'm going to go look at all the specials down there. I was like, <laughs> funny. Can you let me know what's on the special down there? Because I might just head down there myself later on. But anyway, um, I'm at work. Not actually doing any work. I'm looking at YouTube. Just checking out my Vlogmas video to see if it's all good. Sometimes I do that just to see if it's all good. But anyway, if you don't already know, my latest video is up. Oh my god, I, I feel so sorry for Raven and Liz. And look what I tried to do yesterday. Popped on some tinsel on the computer. But it's just not holding down, the sellotape sucks. So yeah, that's all the Christmas I've done on my... This is my other work colleagues. And then here's another one. Just a few little Christmassy stuff in the in the house. Got this here too. I actually put this hat here yesterday. It's a few Christmas stuff. As well as our awards. Yes. Yes. That's cool. Little bunting. Christmas bunting. So guys, um, this afternoon I am interviewing this guy here who is taking part in the longest walk. He is literally walking the whole of Aotearoa with his two dogs, um, visiting like animal welfare and I don't know about if it's SPCA but definitely animal welfare so yeah I'm looking forward to that that's for sure. Oh my god guys, so 
Is it a phone going off? Oh gosh. Um, I'm just doing this thing on the Office Depot Office Max Alpha Yourself. It is so hilarious. Check out this one. Oh, okay. I've decided to go with the hip hop shop. I'll show you what it is. It's so funny. Oh, this cracks me up. I'm gonna see if I can pop it actually into this video. <laughs> it's me, Avi and Raven. You can't quite see it though. Oh shit, this is crack ups. Okay, Saki, you have to pay a dollar ninety nine, and I just think that's kind of stink when I can just share it on my Facebook. So that's what I'm gonna try and do instead of you guys seeing it on here. But it is so funny. I'm just trying to download the app because um, when I tried sharing it on my Facebook, it didn't like play. You had to click into it. So yeah, I'm gonna try it on here and see how we go. So in case you guys are wanting to see what it is on the app store it's just the elf on a shelf and this is can it play <laughs> i just think it's just so funny i remember this from last year actually oh, look it's little raven <laughs> i just mostly like it for raven man i'm a good dancer such a good dancer has anybody else suffered with calls coming in from freaking different places this one here just rang me now this one was actually a legit one <laughs> and then these other ones here are just i have no idea but they continuously keep ringing me and i just keep ignoring it and it's like bro can you just give up seriously give up it's old school as Oh my gosh guys, this has to be the best freebie that I've ever got out from my groceries. So I just, I ordered my groceries online and this week I have got, oh my gosh, that's Anna Lee. She's a local girl. Um, This is the collection mascara. Now I've got one collection mascara at the moment and I don't like it. So I'm intrigued to see how this works. So thank you so much countdown that is awesome this is so cliched but i just decided to light a candle i really want to light my la Rev one but um we'll just we'll just light this cheap one first um i just want to show you the size of these mangoes i thought they're actually pretty good but of course we get them in from equator e ecuador equator oh my gosh shamo so my friend is on her way she lives uh, probably about half an hour away um and i keep forgetting that she lives here because this is what a few of my friends have done they've gone and done the whole overseas experience and gone overseas so awesome and then they've come home and then because i've gotten so used to them not being here i forget that they live in the same like city or a I forget that they live in the same region so I'm really gutted because this weekend um, we're having like a girls catch up but I can't go because I'm going to my work do so that's what stink but all good um, hopefully I'll be able to catch up with them on at New Year's oh my gosh I can't believe I'm saying this New Year's that is so freaky Oh my gosh, the quickest cheese board ever because my friend's coming around. I think she's already had dinner, but I just had to have a little bite. Yummy. This looks so Christmassy. Look at that. So cute. But a very quick cheese board because um, I think Shannon would have eaten by now because surely. Because it's just like so late and she has normal nine to five job. So yeah. $2 shop today and I couldn't find anything that I really wanted um, but I got these little gift bags which I'm going to show you tomorrow how I well, what I put together for 
our Betty Monroe work to because we are giving gifts to each and every we're giving gifts to one another but it's going to be edible the theme is edible so I'm making everything obviously because that's just me um this I thought was really cute it's a flashing LED pin I think I'll probably wear it on Christmas day it's only two bucks like what the heck um some ribbon or cotton gift tie I quite liked these color combos and then this is for a secret Santa hopefully the girl the person that I've got doesn't see this but it's so cute I freaking love this and then because at work I am the elf and I thought this would be very appropriate Santa's helper and this was only two bucks as well I just love Christmas time eh? just all the lights and it's just so festive so this is the remnants of our little cheese board <laughs> kind of got a little bit destroyed um, but yeah it was a really nice catch up with my friend and now gosh I feel like I've barely done anything today I'm, we'll see how good this vlog is um, but I'm thinking I'm going to do some baking now so we'll see how that goes so thanks to um, Jen from a thousand words um, I actually asked her on a recipe for Christmas um, um, what I could make as a gift for my work colleagues at my second job so she sent me through this Nigella recipe it is a Christmas Rocky Road recipe looks freaking amazing look at that that is so cute oh my gosh so cute um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to do it but um, pretty much I have to make it gluten free because um, the woman that I work with she's gluten free um, so I've made sure that I've brought things that are gluten free like this is a gluten free marshmallows and dark chocolate, normal chocolate, red cherries, some Brazil nuts, butter, which is meant to be softened, so I'm going to have to soften that, golden syrup. And it did ask for Amarati biscuits, I think that's how you say it, Amarati. But I don't have any, and I think Jen suggested to go to Binnan, but I, I haven't been able to get out there, and Binnan is about 25 minutes away, 20 minutes away. So I looked up for alternatives, and... Lots of people were saying like the wafer biscuits, but we don't have whatever they're talking Our wafer biscuits are like actual wafer, like that you would use like in a sundae or something like that. Um, but I did see some people say ginger nut biscuits, but um, I had to find a gluten-free recipe. So I found these. They weren't too badly priced either, but they're just a free-form gluten ginger nut biscuit. So I'm going to use that instead and we're going to see how we get on with this. I'm a bit nervous. Hopefully this goes to plan. Otherwise I'm going to have to, I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to have to do after this. Oh, I love opening chocolate, especially the Whitaker's one. Because it's like opening something from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Whitaker's chocolate is so damn good. Oh, smell. Smells amazing. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so much chocolate. Oh, this looks so good. So the recipe calls for um, 200 grams of biscuits to be pulsed um, or beaten in a freezer bag, but ain't nobody got time for that. This is toads getting blitzed up in the blender. This is what they look like. Oh, they smell pretty similar to I hope this turns out good. Like, it's in theory, sounds good. But when you haven't practiced a recipe, you just never know how it could turn out. This is what it looks like. 
at the moment. I'm just about to cover it and put it into the fridge to set. And I'll leave it in there until I'm ready to package it up. Um, I am wanting to make something else right now because it's my friend's birthday tomorrow and I'm going out for dinner with her. But I don't know what to make. Ugh. I might make peppermint creams because this is what um, one of my work colleagues told me she does sometimes for gifts. So I had to try and find an area in here, which is quite hard because we just seem to have a lot of food in here. Unless I tried to do the vegan pavlova. What is the time though? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, that's probably not going to work. We're going to have to do that another day. There we go. All the treats I have in here. Chocolate treats. Candy canes. <sighs> because I had snacks with a Shannon, I'm not actually hungry for real food. But I bet you it will get to like midnight and I'll be like, I'm hungry. Now Alfie's already in bed asleep, so he must be pretty tired. Um, but I'm going to watch Shulin Street and I'm going to fold all this damn washing and that's pretty much going to be my day I think. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to give my vlogs a thumbs up because that's how I know if you like them or not. If, but I don't know if you like my vlogs otherwise. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bon marie.